today we are going to discuss a reactive hyperemia what is reactive hyperemia so reactive hyperemia is basically the increased blood flow after a block has occurred in the flow of blood when blood supply to a tissue is blocked and then unblocked blocked blood supply has been blocked and then unblocked blood flow to the tissues usually increases 4 to 7 times depending on the duration of block when the lack of this lack of blood supply sets into motion all factors which causes vaso dilation and this increased amount of blood flow to the tissues is known as reactive hyperemia so basically if we have a tissue this is a tissue these are tissue cells and it is being supplied by a blood vessel if the if a block occurs in this blood vessels block occurs in this blood vessels the blood supply to this tissue the blood supply to this tissue or these cells has been blocked no blood is coming to these uh, these cells or no 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 blood is coming to this tissue now after some time this block has been removed or it has been the, the vessel has been unblocked this block has been removed now after the removal of the block the blood flow to the tissue it will increase 4 to 7 times like the amount of blood that flows into the tissue after unblocking a block that has occurred in the blood flow the amount of blood flow that will occur to the tissue will increase and the increase will depend on the duration if the blood flow was blocked for few seconds now the increase amount of blood uh, flow after the unblocking it will also be for few seconds but if it was the block was for hours then after removal of the block the increased amount of blood flow to the tissue will also remain for few hours and this increased amount of blood flow that occurs after removal of a block or that occurs after unblock it is known as reactive hyperemia and this is because lack of blood flow in the tissue sets into motion all the factors which cause vasodilation and the factors which which causes vasodilation we have discussed in the previous lectures that include basically the release of vasodilator substances like adenosine potassium ions hydrogen ion similarly the 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 other factors which uh, lead to increased blood flow is the vasodilation caused by lack of oxygen so here again when the blood has been blocked the oxygen supply has been reduced and the, due to the reduced amount of oxygen the, the the oxygen coming to the smooth muscles in the blood vessel smooth muscles in the blood vessel is also reduced and when the oxygen coming to the smooth vessels is reduced the their constriction power is reduced and they dilate so the oxygen deficiency or less amount of oxygen coming to the tissue is playing again a role in reactive hyperemia and after the unblock when the block has been removed the amount of ox oxygen that will come to the tissue will be sufficient enough it will be sufficient enough to compensate to compensate for the oxygen which was blocked here so for example if small amount of oxygen is coming to this tissue in normal blood flow and that has been blocked now as soon as the block is removed a large amount of oxygen will come and that large amount of oxygen will basically try to compensate for the oxygen which was basically blocked so this reactive hyperemia this reactive hyperemia this increase amount of blood flow after removal of a block it basically is an acute control acute control is basically one of the mechanisms through which the blood flow to the tissues is 
controlled because we discussed that the tissues themselves can control the amount of blood that is flowing to them through local and humoral mechanisms and the two most common mechanisms used by the tissue to increase or decrease the amount of blood that is coming to them are the acute control and the long term control. We have discussed in detail the acute control and the two basic effects that occur in acute control are the metabolism, the effect of me metabolism. Increase in metabolism, increase the blood flow. Decrease in metabolism, decrease the blood flow. Similarly, the oxygen availability also play a role in acute control and we discussed that increased amount of oxygen availability decrease blood flow. But decrease amount of oxygen in the blood increase the blood flow. Now, these are basically the mechanisms used by acute control but reactive hyperemia is also a mechanism which leads to acute control or rapid control or quick control of the blood flow and that basically the 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 purpose of this mechanism is to quickly overcome the decrease in nutrient supply or decrease in metabolism or decrease in the oxygen availability of the tissue so that's all about the reactive hyperemia which is basically increased blood flow after removal of a block which has basically decreased the blood flow. Thanks a lot for watching the video.